Hey everyone, this is Kelly and I am back with another video for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I am creating wave backgrounds using the brand new Honey Bee Stamps Cloud Border Dies. There are four dies in this set. As you can see there, they're all stitched. <clears throat> I have cut out a binder divider found at Amazon or your local office supply store. Um, that way I can use this mask over and over again to create clouds or waves as I'm going to do today. Here's an example of clouds and then if you flip it, it kind of looks like waves. And here's a card example with the clouds. I'm going to start off on these backgrounds. I'm using Broken China and Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxides. I've only dipped my sponges or blending tools into that ink one or two times. I'm going to have it be a lot darker and a lot more heavy handed toward the bottom and then lighten up as I go to the top. So I'm just going to use the ink that was left in the sponge and not re-dip it. Um, what I've done is add the broken china and then I just slide my little mask up and add the cracked pistachio. And this just adds a little bit more interest and a little bit more dimension than if it were all one color and um, just kind of flat looking. So, and then I just turn my little mask around or you can flip it over um, to get a different design, a different border there. I'm just going to work my way up the paper and this goes really quickly. This was really super easy. I did several designs playing with these. Um, I did some clouds, I did waves, and I just had a great time uh, playing with these new dies and also stencils from Honeybee Stamps. So it's getting lighter, as I said, as it goes toward the top. And you can see there, I have some really light spots um, in the middle and down toward the bottom. It, those are really easy to cover up. Just take your uh, blue, I just took my blue and just lightly blended over that to kind of fill those in. I'm going to use tumbled glass regular distressing because I want just a hint of a blue sky there towards the top. And regular distressings are more transparent, so you're going to be able to see what other what color cardstock you have underneath. And I just wanted it to be the hint of that blue. If I had used the distress oxides, it would be a lot more opaque and it'd just be too dark. So one of these panels I'm going to spray with my distress sprayer to get that awesome oxide reaction. And then the other one, I'm going to use some shimmer spritz and hold that a couple feet over the top and give it a good five or six sprays. And then I'm just going to dab up if there's any excess and that has an awesome shimmer to it. This is the mermaid from Under the Sea, and I've already colored her and used the coordinating dyes. And this is the Mermaid Song stamp set. This is awesome for greetings. I've cut out those panels with the Honey Bee Stamps A2 stitched rectangle dies. I'm going to add that into my Mini Misty, and I have that mermaid in place so I get my greeting in just the right spot. And that one is going to say Make Waves. I've added just a little bit of foam tape to the back of that mermaid die and add her right to the center there. I have cut and scored some coordinating cardstock to make my card base. And the finishing touch here is going to be a little bit of Nuvo Crystal Glaive Glaze to make the bubbles or water splashes. Here's a look at that one. You see all the shimmer there from that shimmer spritz. And then I used the other mermaid from the Under the Sea set and did exactly the same thing. Uh, the coordinating cardstock, popped her on with some foam tape, and then I decorated the inside of this card. The front says Mermaid Kisses and the inside says Birthday Wishes. Stamped a few little fish and I have kelp there and that one's all finished. Added the Nouveau Crystal Glaze to that one as well. 
and I had so much fun playing with these masks and new stencils and I hope that you'll give this a try. All of the supplies can be found at honeybeestamps.com and are listed in the description box below. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.